once you've downloaded your Adobe Draw app on the iPad using the self-service app, you can then launch it and it'll present you with a sign-on screen where you use your Adobe credentials. I've already signed in here so it's just presenting me with a list of projects that I've already worked on. And you tap to open up a project. You can see that I've got a number of layers that are already structured there. One of the first things that I want to do is set up my stylus and I've got a little Adonit Pixel stylus. Um, and you would press the power button on the stylus just to power it up. And then you would use the gear icon in the top right hand corner of your screen and choose stylus. You would then hold the pen to connect. And eventually that pen would connect. And you can set up preferences for, you know, if you're a left handed drawer or right handed drawer and exactly the profile of how you hold that pen. Once you've set that up, and you'll notice that on the left hand side there are a number of brushes. The one which you're going to be using is the second one from the top. So if you tap the brush again, you can see you can generate a size, a color from a color wheel, and there's a brightness level. Uh, I'm just going to use black, and an opacity. So you can generate opacity for your brush. More importantly, at the very bottom here, are a set of controls. And if you just start sketching here, you're given a little scratch pad where you can monitor the look and the responsiveness of the brushes. There's two that are very important down here, pressure dynamics and velocity dynamics. So these both control how the brush responds to your drawing.